हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम आकाश आई कंप्लीटेड मैं बीटेक फ्रॉम एनआईटी राउट के लाइन द ईयर 2020 करंटली आई एम अ मैथमेटिक्स टीचर नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस गिवन सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ कॉस जॉर्डन मेथड सम ऑफ यू माइट फियर कॉस जॉर्डन मेथड बट इट्स एक्चुअली क्वाइट सिंपल एंड इजी ओके आई विल टेल यू हाउ हाउ इट गोस सो लिसन टू मी केयरफुली ओके इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली इजी दिस मेथड इज एक्चुअली इजी नाउ फाइन आर द बॉस सेट ऑफ द दीस आर द गिवन सेट ऑफ इक्वेशंस नाउ द गिवन सेट ऑफ इक्वेशंस आर दिस आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न द गिवन क्वेश्चन एज इट इज नाउ नेक्स्ट this given equations can be written in matrix form as this okay basically you see uh, i have written on the coefficients like here 2 minus 1 3 the first row 1 1 1 and then 1 minus 1 1 here and the right side i have 9 6 and in between i have x plus fine now this first matrix i'm going to take it as a second matrix i'm going to take it as x and the third matrix i'm going to take it as d so hence i have the matrix equation a x equal to d now i'm going to solve it Now to solve it by using Gauss-Jordan method, I need to know something known as augmented matrix. Okay, I need to frame it. What is that augmented matrix? It's nothing. Okay, it's just that I'm going to club this 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 matrix and this D, A and D. I'm going to club them and write it together. So it would appear something like this: augmented matrices and represent it like this. Okay, and represent it like this: E D equal to this. Now, now. in cos jordan method my ultimate aim okay understand the aim okay then everything would be quite simple then everything will become kind of simple see what is my aim means ultimately i want to get something like this 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 and here can be something okay a b c something some numbers some numbers so this is my ultimate objective this is my ultimate object So here at the top I want one below two I want zeros below two I want zeros. This is my first objective. Okay, I'm I'm gonna focus on my first column. Next second column. Next third column. This is the way I'm gonna do this question. And it's really simple. There is a clear cut logic to how to solve this question. Now if you'll see here I have two. Here I have two. So what I could do I I could do many things. But the simplest one is I'm going to interchange this first row with the second row. I'm going to interchange the first row and second row. So if I'll interchange it, all these elements will come to first row and all these elements will come to second row. And the operation I'm going to represent it like this, and hence my AD would become this. Now observe this symbol which I've used. You need to use this symbol once you begin using operations because the given set of equations is similar, but it's not the same. Okay, it's similar to this, but it's not exactly the same. Sort of that understanding you can have. Now, so basically I have one. So one objective is done. I wanted one zero zero, so I got my one. Now how to make these two zeros? How to make these two zeros? Now, what operations I can apply? If you see, I have in in the first in the first row, I have one. Here I have two. So basically, if I multiply this one by two and subtract it from here, from the from this two, then I would get zero. Likewise, if I subtract just these two rows, R three implies R three minus R one, then I would get a zero. So that's why if I perform these two operations, R two implies R two minus two R one. Multiply this entire row with two and subtract so that uh, you know this this side gets zero. Next, apart from that. In the third row, in the third row, just subtract as it is R three minus R one. So if I do this, I'm going to show the show you the intermediate step also. This you won't find it anywhere. Okay, everywhere you are given just this transfer, this row operation, and the the next answer. But this intermediate step you are not shown. This is what the intermediate step would be like. As I mentioned, this first row element you need to multiply it by two for the first operation. R two implies R two minus two R one. Fine for that. The, if I multiply two here but, uh, with the first row, then I'll get and then subtract. So two minus two and then minus one minus two because here I have one. If I multiply it by by two, I'll get two and then I need to subtract it minus one minus two. That's why I have minus one minus two. Likewise, here I have one. One into two is two and then subtract it three minus two. That's why I have three minus two. Now here I have six multiplied by two. Six twos are twelve and then subtract it nine minus twelve. Clear. I hope you understood this first operation. I am explaining the first one in detail. Afterwards, I'll be going a bit fast. Next, here I am just doing basic subtraction. Okay, R three plus R three minus R one. So I have one minus one, and then minus one minus one, one minus one, and then two minus six. Follow the order in which I have written. Okay, R three plus R three minus R one. So you need to follow that order only. You you cannot do anything any other order like, because I have taken it like this. Now next. If you simplify this two minus two is zero, and likewise, if you simplify all the terms, you would get this. You would get this. Now you see my first part is done. I I wanted to get one zero zero in my first column. It's done, right? One of my objectives is done. Now next objective. My next objective is that I want to get zero one zero. I want to get 
zero one zero. So in between, in between, I have one. In between, I have one. But here I have minus three. Hmm. Now how to make it one? How to make it one? For that, what I'm gonna do is for that, what I'm gonna do is. See here, I have minus three. I need to make it one. For that, and I need to use only this row. Okay, I should only use the third third row. I should not use the first. I should not use the first row while I'm doing while I'm doing this. Because if I'll use the first row again, the zero which I got here, this will uh, go off. Okay, if I'll any, perform any operation, the zero will go and something else would come. For that, so I need to use only the third row. That means this element only. I need to do something so that with this element, some operation I should perform so that I get one. For that, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna do minus three minus two into minus two. Now just observe it; you'll get minus three plus four, which is nothing but one. So you see, ultimately I got one. So what I did with this minus two is I'm going to multiply this row with two and subtract it and subtract it from R two. So basically, my operation is R two implies my operation is. Anyways, you'll see it on the next slide. R two implies R two minus Two R three. If I'll do this, if I'll do this, then I'd be getting a one here in the center, which is one of my objectives. Fine. Now next. So this is the operation which I told you R two plus R two minus two R three. So hence, therefore, what I'd be getting here is this. Okay. As I told you, the intermediate step I'm showing. So fine. Uh, okay. I'll sh I'll show it from here only. Multiply this by two, so I'd get minus four and subtract minus three minus of minus four. That's why you can see it here like this: minus three minus of minus four. Next, okay, uh, yeah. Next, after this, here we have a zero, fine. Right? And here I have minus four. Multiply it with two, minus eight, minus three, minus of minus eight. Okay, fine. Okay, one thing I forgot to show you. Actually, here you need to put. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Here also you need to put zero minus zero, zero minus zero. Because if you are applying an operation, it will be applied on all the all the terms. Okay, it will be applied on all the terms. Fine, you need to show this. This would be zero minus zero because this also needs to be multiplied by two into zero is zero and subtracted from this zero. So zero minus zero, and here also this one, this zero is there. Zero into uh, two would be zero, and then one minus zero. Fine for the entire row, I'm applying. So I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, May I'm making that next. Now, if I'll simplify this, if I'll simplify this, this is an intermediate step as I, as I showed, as I told you, this is not the final answer after after that operation. Now I got this. Now I got this one minus three minus of minus four means minus three plus four basically one one minus zero is one and then minus three minus of minus eight is minus three plus five minus three plus eight which would be nothing but eight minus three which is equal to five. Okay. Now next next. I got my one. I got my one. uh if you if you guys remember i told you my target right my target is to get this 100010001 and then some number abc some number okay this center one i got now i need to get these two zeros to get those two zeros what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the second row i need to use this second row and get zeros here and get these zeros here and here Now, if you observe here, I have one. Here also I have one. So simply, I can do R one implies R one minus R two, and then it will be done. That will be taken care of. Next, here I have minus two. To eliminate minus two, I need to add two. So basically, I need to multiply here by two and add it. So basically, R three implies R three plus two R two. Fine. I'm using only R two here. So fine. Uh, so my intermediate step would be this. Okay, a quick explanation I'll give. So in the for the first operation, R one implies R one. Okay, so one minus zero, one minus one, one minus one, six minus five. That's what you see here. And then here, uh, R three implies R three plus two R two. So here I have. Uh, <coughs> so multiply two to each term. So two into zero is zero. Zero plus zero. That's why I got here. Multiply to this one. Multiply uh, by, multiply this by two. So basically, I have into uh, two. I have minus two plus two, and then multiply here by two. Zero plus two. That's why I have, and then multiply here by. Two five two is a ten minus four plus ten. All clear. Next. Next. If you saw simplified, you would get this. So fine. See, my second objective is also done. I got zero one zero in my second column. I got zero one zero in my second column. Now my third objective is my third objective is is to get zero zero one. Is to get zero zero one. Now how to do that? How to do that? Basically, I want a one here. I want a one here. Here I have two. Now what to do that? 
see for this the very simple thing is you know just divide this row just divide this row by 2 that's it if you will divide this row by 2 your task is done 2 by 2 is 1 simple or multiply it by half we generally show it like that now my next operation is r3 implies my next operation is r3 implies r3 into half r3 implies r3 into half this is going to be my next operation if i'll multiply it by half i'll get two okay, i'll show you this is my operation so if i'll apply that i'd get this everywhere you see i did not use equal to sign uh, i'm using the similar sign only everything will get multiplied by half so two two would get cancelled i'm left out with i'm left out with one here and then two ones are two threes are so if i'll complete the operation i'll get this now next part i got one here i got one here and already if you guys observe there is a zero at the top i only need a zero here i only need a zero here for that i can do a very simple operation R2 implies R2 minus R3. I need to use this row only for the last set of operations. Okay. For the first set of operations, I used R1. For the next set of operations, I used R2. And for the next set of operations, I am using R3. So R2 implies R2 minus R3. So the intermediate step would be something like this. So 0 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 1, 5 minus 3. This is what you see. And hence, if I'll simplify it, I'll be getting this. Whew. 1, 2, 3. So basically, x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to 3. That's my solution. I know it went a bit long, but I try to give my best here. I try to make sure that you could understand each and every step. Still, if you have any doubts, please feel free to come in the comment box, comments box and you know ask me. Be specific, okay? If you just tell I'm not able to understand, it would be a bit difficult. You can just mention, okay, in this here, I have a doubt. How did this happen? If you be specific, I can answer your query so that uh, I can help you out and uh, not just this question I made some other questions related to matrices you can just check them out go to my channel and check out the playlist you'll find many other questions you can find functions questions and like theorems like many other things you will find out in my channel and if you like this video solution please hit the like button this will encourage me to make many more of such videos and not just that if this is your first time coming across to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to it Thank you very much. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020 and currently I'm a mathematics teacher.